It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Redwell Brewing Company and it's a can of their Kofra Stout. It's 5.9% ABV. Love the artwork on this can. It's all the different parts and bits and pieces of a brewery. You can see it all there. Mash tun and fermenting vessel. Cooler. Great stuff, love that. Should we get it out into a glass and see what we get? Whoa. Wow, that's really, really carbonated. Really lively brew then, look at that one. I don't think you can hear it hissing. You can hear that hissing away. I, I don't think we'll be waiting too long before we can get tucked into this beer. You can see the kind of large carbonation there in the glass. The large bubbles in the carbonation just means that it's going to collapse on itself very quickly. So beer in the glass, ooh, almost like a brown ale. I reviewed a brown ale earlier on and if you put them side by side I suppose no it is it's definitely darker that would definitely pass as a stout uh, the brown ale when you put it side by side definitely looks like a brown ale compared to this so a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass shall we get the all-important aroma on this coffee stout It smells really good. Lots of traditional kind of maybe British floor malt. There's some there's some coffee. And it's really quite brambling cross like hoppy, a traditional hop I think that's been added to this beer. A little smoky, chocolatey. And that coffee. Should we dive in? Cheers. Oh yes, that is really nice. Splendid beer actually. Really tasty, lots of coffee. I'm, I'm supposing that the word Kofra is a style of coffee. If not, it must be the name of that monkey that got sent to space. I don't know, I've not Googled it. Oh, coffee beans by Kofra. Okay, so maybe that's the, the kind of collaboration that's that was mentioned earlier on. But you get a sense of that coffee on the back of the palate, it kind of sticks. Um, really nice kind of good quality coffee beans. It's a little espresso like. There's some nice malt character going on in there, some nice roasted malt, a chocolate coffee car caramel. And then that, as I said, that finish, that hoppy finish is lovely. It's a, it's a very traditional British hop and it's one that I like to revisit. It feels very homely when you when you get a really good beer, a really good solid stout like this, but it's got traditional British hops in and you think to yourself, ah, I know that style of beer and I know it rather well and I need to revisit it more often. Nicely carbonated, pushes around on the inside of the mouth. It's kind of a little bit, in terms of fruit, how would I describe it? Maybe tart like, a little jammy, but fantastic. A little bit dry on the back end, still quite refreshing. 5.9% ABV, it's got a good body, good mouthfeel to it. Yeah, very impressed by this. Should we get the last drop in? And now we'll give it a rating. Redwell Kofra Stout. 
5.9% ABV rating. It's very impressive, a very impressive beer. A stout that I think if I had it in a pub, I'd buy another. It's one of them beers that you just go, oh, that's nice. Uh, oh, that's gone down rather nice. I need to fill my glass back up. I'll have another one of them. And and that's that's all you want as a brewer is 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 for that kind of that. Yes, I'll have another. Would I buy another? And and that's all kind of that's the passion of brewing is that you want your beer to get into the hands of people and you want them to try more of it. I like that enough to give it an eight out of ten. It's an eight out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.